We moved into our new operations center last year on December 19, 2022, after four years without a place to call home. This state-of-the-art 52,000 square foot operations center, plus a 6,000 square foot purchasing and fleet building, took a total of two years to design and build. So before we moved in, I uh, was just doing a security check and, and found an open door and got to explore a little bit. And uh, seeing the building before we occupied it was, was pretty amazing uh, for me, knowing where we came from to then see uh, something like this. I, I certainly never thought I'd see it within you know the time frame of my career. Before we moved in, our operations were spread out across multiple locations all over the county. But with this building, we've been able to combine our assets, our team, and our capabilities to one centralized location, which allows us to better serve our community. It's First of all, it's, it's nice to be centralized in one area so you're not having to try to track people down um, across an entire building or several buildings. We're all in one place. Just prior to us moving here, so just over a year ago, we were in separate facilities. I have major case, I have a general assignment, intel unit, crime scene investigation, evidence. The real-time crime center is another to coordinate all of those functions and to be efficient. Right now, we're all under one roof. We now have a more efficient, effective, and reliable building for our employees to work from for decades to come. The, the best part about it is that we finally have a home and everybody is, is here. The building and property are planned for a 30,000 square foot addition when it is needed in the future. In the last year, we've hosted the Summit to Protect and Serve Seniors in the Sheriff Citizens Academy. We've also been able to host outside agencies, sharing information and building relationships to make Flagler County in Florida a safer place for everyone. We've even hosted and showcased our building to Florida Sheriffs during the Florida Sheriffs Association's Sheriffs Summit in the FSA Cold Case Advisory Commission meeting. But more than that, I want to thank our employees for bringing our new building to life. I like coming to work. <laughs> and, um, and I, I mean that, it, it's good. I feel like I'm part of a good team. I've learned a lot. The agency has a lot to offer, um, great people. In the community to see what great things we've been able to accomplish in a professional work environment. It's a good thing for the community. The community need that. They need that building where they could come and find in one location, everything that they want to know about the sheriff's office. You know, if somebody comes in and they don't know, or they, they have something, they don't know where to go, they can always, you know, come to the front desk where we have somebody, and if they can't help them here, they can redirect them. I think it sets a standard of professionalism where people of the county can actually come out and see the building, you know, see what goes on inside, and just have the transparency that I think today's law enforcement needs. Happy one year anniversary.